I wanted to ask you, uh, I saw you and Taj in the Jumbotron were talking uh, just before you went out there. What was uh, Taj, tell, Taj telling you? Um, Taj is just saying, man, um, just trying to think of what he was saying. He just believed in me, you know, believed in the offense. And, uh, just, just kept telling him, hey, man, calm, cool, and collected. You got this. And, um, just go deliver. We all believe in you. And, you know, really what I remember right before I went out is talking to Paul Tyson. And him coming up to me, he goes, hey, man, you got this. Um, and just know God's always in your corner. God's always in your corner. And you just give it all up to him, and he's in control. And that just, you know, just just him saying that just gave me such a peace. And whenever I stepped on the field, that you know, win or loss, God's always in command. So um, that was awesome. That's really the, the biggest thing I remember from right before. When you broke that tackle, you know, we got a picture of it. You got a big smile on your face as you're running. <laughs> <laughs> it was it. What did you know right then when you broke that tackle? You were going to score. Yeah. So I, you know, it was a QB draw, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to get up to the safety, and then really I cut right. I'm trying to get out of bounds because you know we got no timeout. So I was trying to get out of bounds, and then. He, you know, TJ kind of pinned him out, and he went upfield. So I just cut back up and broke one tackle. And, like, Taj kind of asked me, you know, what you feel right there? And I'm like, it just, you know, it doesn't feel real in a moment like that. You're just like, oh, my gosh, I'm loose. And, uh, those last 15, 20 yards, it's, it was a crazy feeling for sure. Okay, how, how weird is it? How weird, right. Sorry. How, how weird is it when you're looking around, you're seeing Walker Parks and tackle, I mean, it's got to be tough on a quarterback when your offensive line are playing musical chairs the way they are. Yeah, um, they battled. You know, I'm just so proud of them. And, you know, we had an offense meeting last night, just player led. And, you know, we don't have one of our biggest leaders on the team here this week, Tristan Lee and, and Marcus Tate. Um, and I'm like, guys, like, if y'all have nothing to play for, go play for them today. And, um, and just the strain that those dudes played with. I mean, Blake hasn't played left tackle since high school. Walker hasn't played right tackle since, I think, he said like three or four years um, and just their preparation for the game um, just it just just showed their strain and their want to that whatever happens I'm ready to go coach um, just so proud of those guys you know we didn't have a great second half and um, but we battled we just battled never there was never a moment that we flinched we knew we were going to win it till the end you were so sharp in the first half yeah not in the second half so okay. yeah just yeah just missing throws just you know it wasn't you know, they, they were doing a good job, and credit to them. You know, they had a great game plan coming out of the second half and um, just the stuff they were doing. They had some good disguises, and, um, you know, they were, they were definitely bringing it a little bit more up front, and um, it's tough to kind of get the ball out of my hand. So if I would have, if I would have had my do-overs, because um, we had some opportunities to take shots downfield, but if I would have had my do-overs, you know, just looking back on it, whenever I felt those pressures, definitely wish that I would have just, you know, kind of taking what they were giving me, um, you know, missed two throws with Tone down the field and um, just trying to hang in there and then taking a hit late. So wish I would have just taken kind of what they were giving me and just kept those drives going, especially on first and second down. With this game, being all that happened with the injuries and ejections, for you guys to compliment each other the way you did, how big is that as a team to kind of get this win? It was kind of a team win, I guess you could say. Absolutely. Um, uh, it, was, it was so fun. That's one of the most fun locker rooms. I've, that was one of the most crazy games I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, it was right there with Kentucky from last year. So that game was, you know, awesome. It was so fun. And just the battle and the strain of, you know, like I said, nobody flinched. Nobody batted an eye or started pointing fingers or just, just kept battling. We only had 27 yards in the second half. And props to them. They played better than us. Um, but we never we never flinched. And we knew that, you know, minute 19, no timeouts and, you know, 65, 70 yards to go. We knew what we could go do, and we just had to go do it. So. When you're celebrating with family. Sorry, I'm going to talk about that. I think it was just when you said that we're back and you were still off. I didn't say that. No, no, you go, you go. But after your touchdown run, Man, thankful for the fans that you know came all the way up here. You know, we had a, we had a lot more Clemson fans than I thought we were gonna have, and um, I could hear them. You know, you try not to listen to the stands, but you know when you hear people cheering for you, it's it's always a good feeling. So you know, just so thankful for them being out there and coming support us. Um, they stayed till the very last second, and um, but just you know wanted to just show my emotion. You know, that was 
unbelievable. But just, you know, thank you to the fans for being there and just everybody having our support for, you know, being there and staying way after and um, just really thankful for them. Okay, what is it like that you know they're really going to try to take away the running game? They're going to yeah. on you to beat them on offense and then you're able to deliver at the end. <sighs> yeah, uh, you know, kind of like I said, I just kind of wish I would have taken what they're giving me a little bit more on the outside hitches and stuff. Um, with their hot pressure, so uh, you know that's what they do. They're playing six to seven guys in the box every time. I'm going to force you to throw it, and we took advantage of that in the first half. And wish that you know we would have had a better second half throwing the football. Just kind of hurt ourselves some first down, some negative plays. Um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, we won the game, and that's the biggest stat that matters. So. Okay, you talked about Virginia Tech being the worst outing of the season. And to go from that to now, when it really counted, getting all your best play of the year, just. What was that feeling like to have that moment? Yeah, uh, it was you know it was big. Just like like you said, I didn't feel like I played the best best game uh, the last week, and you know just worked my tail off, um, just pushed these guys, and we had a great game plan, and just you know came out and dominated the first half. Just got to find ways to really go dominate the second half, and um, but yeah, I mean just for me. I, I knew that you know I can have a bounce back game. I think that's one of the things I'm gifted with, just you know being able to bounce back and you know whether it's a bad play or a bad drive or whatever it is or a bad game, um, just being able to bounce back and go go be great in the next one is huge, especially a quarterback. Do you ever lead a last minute come from behind touchdown drive like that in high school? Um, <clears throat> my junior year, yeah, um, we're playing North Shore uh, in the semifinal game, sold out. Uh, you know, there's probably 25, 35, 30,000 people there. It's it awesome. Two minutes down, down probably I think four, maybe three. Um, drove 80 yards. I remember hit a, a big, big post route to Michael Taff, um, who's you know balling at Texas now, playing safety. Hit a big route to him. Got all the way down the one yard line, and uh, it was fourth and one. They had stopped us three times in a row. Fourth and one. Ended up pulling it and scoring. Um, really similar to this, just you know, pulled it and scored, and on the one yard line, and ended up scoring. But that was, you know, I, my, I was just talking to my brother, and he's like, that was maybe the craziest game since North Shore two years ago, so, or a few years ago. So, yeah. I think you've done it at this level. I mean, obviously, you have all the confidence in yourself that you can do it, but just doing it at this level, I mean, how much more does that mean? Yeah, I mean, I, and especially in those kind of scenarios, I love watching. Um, Guys like Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and Tom Brady, just, you know, how do they dissect the game? What does it really take? Um, I can't remember who said it, but, you know, especially in those two-minute drives, it's, you know, getting the first positive on the first play, getting the first touchdown on one big play. Um, and that's that's what it takes. And that's really how you – I just love watching how they dis dissect. You know, I mean, the minute 19, no timeouts, got to score a touchdown to win the game. Um, and I just kind of think about the guys that, hey, it's so possible. There's guys that – you know, are, are at the next level doing it, and we, we can do it too. So we had two of them, you know, right before the half, and then that one too was awesome. Hey, I have some coaching there. This is the playoff team. Short answer, you went five minutes, and then short answer was one. What's your take on it? Do you feel you guys are a playoff team? Um, absolutely. You know, I think that, you know, what we've done this year, um, we've just continued to, to be here we are, and uh, we believe we are, and we're just going to, at the end of the day, you know, we're not in full control anymore. And that's a tough spot to be losing after losing to Louisville. Um, but what we could do and what our mentality this week was, let's just, let's just go take control of what we, can, what we have um, in front of us. And that was Pitt this week. And anything can happen. So, you know, if they put us in there, you know, we got big, we got big goals still and we got big dreams. So. What would you say to those um, guys? Yeah, I, mean, I just don't think that there's anybody else in the country with more heart. Um, to go win and when it really matters. Um, so, you know, I think that we can do it. We can do it at elite level. We've got a great defense. We got an offensive line, an offense that can go score a bunch of points. Um, we got a great kicker. We got we got everything we need. We got the best coach in America. So, thank you. Absolutely. Anything else? Thank you, Kate.